Time for another instruction. We've got Andy Ness here, skating and skills instructor for the Minnesota Wild. We've got wild forward Thomas Vanek. Boy, I tell you, from all levels of hockey, passing is such a big part of the game. Passing at a squirt level, peewee level, bantam level, high school level, that's the one area when you really watch the game that, that kids really struggle with. And the one thing I noticed just working with, with the NHL guys is, as guys get older and better is they don't miss passes. And it doesn't matter where the puck is, they find a way to catch it. Thomas, we watch your team go through morning skate on a regular basis. And what strikes me as, as a hockey fan is how often those passes are, are tape to tape. In a game with players out there trying to deflect those passes away, a lot of times those passes aren't going tape to tape. So it's just like skating, shooting, it's repetitive, but you work on it to catch it out here, catch it wide, bring it back in, get in your feet, bring it back out. The first drill that we're gonna do is we're just gonna do an extension passing routine. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pass to his backhand, he's gonna go backhand to forehand, back to me, then forehand to backhand, back to me, then he's got to dig one out of his feet. The idea is to get it up to his forehand on his stick, and then he's going to pass back to me. Feet. Good. The second one we're going to have him do is we're going to have him face that way, and we're going to work on his backhand. Now, what I like to do, especially with the older guys, is I like to go one hand on the stick. That's the key to being able to catch a hard backhand pass. Strength on that top hand. So what he's going to do, he's going to catch it with one hand, pass it back with two hands. Pass it back with two. Now we're going to make this one a little more difficult here. We're going to do some extension passing, and he's going to add a saucer pass to it. So what will happen is, I'm going to pass it to his backhand, He's going to pull it to his forehand in one motion, saucer pass over the pad, right back to me. Vanek to Pomerville, scores! Thomas, when you're in a game, let's go through a power play situation. You play a lot of times off the half wall. How much does this last drill uh, do you have to incorporate the saucer pass into what you're doing? Nowadays, guys are so good with batting down pucks and having good sticks. So I think you have to look away and you got to use the saucer more than ever, I think. And I've never seen that one-handed drill before. I've been around the game of hockey for 40 plus years. For young kids, that's got to be an awesome drill. That's, that's a really important drill. And you look at younger kids, sometimes they have their dominant hand on the top of their stick, you know, which is what we want to do. And sometimes their non-dominant hands on the top of the stick. You want to make sure that their top hand is doing the work. So you go one hand. Once you get the one hand done, the re repeating it over and over, when you add the second hand, then it becomes a lot easier to, to handle a backhand pass. Too. Great drills for hockey players of all ages, passing such a big part of the game. Today with Andy Ness and Thomas Vanek's help, you've become a better hockey player.